Welcome back to answering another question from the Webbies. And again, it's in the Adobe community. Uh, and a Dreamweaver user that is asking, they implemented basically a jQuery plugin that enables them to animate. And we're not going to go into the code itself of jQuery of the easing. Now, there's a problem. When he's creating the eases, and I'm going to go ahead and show them to you, you'll see that some of the eases as they're going when they're scrolling they're going really to the position where he wants them to go while other ones are kind of not and part of the reason is very simple is because the idea itself of the item is being hidden by the header now the question of the of the developer here is asking how could i create an offset but the answer is that you can't create an offset for a very simple reason because it's really dependent on the actual position of the item. What the browser really does, and these, uh, if you'll notice in these, um, the, the searches, although in this browser you can't really see it here, but if I just set here ampersand, and let's say I go ahead and I'll just set here funeral services, it's gonna jump to that specific spot in time, taking the user exactly to that position. And we don't wanna play around with that because this is connected directly to the way that it's rendered in the HTML. So we don't wanna override it even if there was a possibility to do it. A way around it um, is when you're working with this scroll, oops, sorry, that's from a different course that I'm working on. Um, if you're working on the scroll itself, what you could do is one of two things. I already told the guy here that what you could do is go into the source file and just reposition your IDs because really what's going on here if I go ahead and inspect this element you'll see that it's literally all it is is just like a hashtag and then an ID and then this ID is then recreated again so if I go ahead here and I want to search for it in our code here and I go ahead and just search for that uh, definition in another spot we'll see that somewhere in our code we'll have here a div so what's actually happening is that our element is going all the way to that item but it's being blocked so the one solution, as I said, was you just take that ID and place that ID in a different spot. Unfortunately, that's not always possible because in some scenarios, you would break your design or break the whole flow and logic of your design. So instead of that, what you could do is something also very simple. And I'm going to go, go ahead and show you that. I'm going to go ahead all the way to the top here again. Go, for example, to funeral services, which was an item that wasn't positioning where we want it. We would like it to position somewhere here, for example. So I'll go ahead to that button funeral services I'm gonna go ahead and edit it so I'm gonna just go ahead here and just grab this item and I'm gonna just go ahead and just change the ID to let's say service because I really want to just take this ID and regenerate this uh, logic in a different place so I'm gonna go ahead and just find that ID again of that services which was down here somewhere so funeral services or even better off I'll find where I want it to be so really I want it to to really position to this item because this is going to be on the top of the screen so I'll go ahead here and then just inspect that element find that specific class I'm going to go ahead and edit here so I'm just going to go ahead and find and obviously in a real browser it would be, um, it would be much easier so I'm just going to go ahead here find here or put here another ID for this paragraph and just go ahead here and just give this paragraph an ID or whatever name I want it to be such as let's say uh, go to go to funeral service and now I have your go to funeral service as an ID and then I could go right back up to my button change that button to go to funeral services instead of uh, funeral service another option is to go ahead and I'm just gonna plop up some code here is to position some code directly in right before the item so I could just go ahead here position this item call it a name put the name itself and then connect the link and link the buttons together but let's go ahead and use that ID just for the case of this sample and if I go ahead your funeral services I'll inspect that element and I'll make sure that I'm gonna go into that specific go to because I changed the ID of the location that I wanted to be go to and now if I go ahead and I click on funeral services let me just close this so we could see it we'll see that it should position it right where I want it to be so that's the answer that's how you would do it instead of putting the ID of where you want it to be because the ID where you want it to be would actually take the item all the way and actually hide it because this item is going to be flush to the top of the screen so instead of that I'm just creating an ID of the roundabout area where I want it to be and then I de I'm defining it <clears throat> or by using a new ID and using that new ID and creating a new uh, URL for it in many ways or going ahead and just adding that a tag a name in the position where I want it to be so I would go ahead also and close that once I would really create that. So that's it. I hope that answered your question. Um, that's it.